counting down till Halloween. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I got a couple things in the mail and I wanted to share with you a couple of these Halloween treats that is so good for this coming weekend. First are these cutest little waffle makers from Dash. I'm not sponsored by any of these, by the way, but I do want to share them with you because they're amazing. They actually have so many cute designs and for a lot of different holidays as well. And one thing that I do add in my pancake mix are spinach and other greens because I like to make them kind of healthy, you know. And so this is really easy. I just wiped it down with a little bit of oil before putting down, you know, just a regular pancake mix that I actually get from Costco that you just add water on. It's super, super, super fast. And you can make them super fun by adding different colors, you know, like orange for pumpkin or even reds with the beets. And it doesn't take that long to make either. I probably put them in there for 40 seconds, no more. And I just absolutely love how they come out. You can add them to your breakfast spread with a bunch of other stuff for Halloween. We added this skeleton and it's just so stinking cute. All right, the next one involves these ghost pumpkins. They're a little bit hard to cut, but they are gonna be the base or what's going to be holding our special drink. This is our pumpkin spice milkshake and you can add whatever type of milk you want. I just added a sweetener, which is a maple syrup, some yogurt, and then of course some pumpkin puree. You can add some canned pumpkins in there and then a frozen banana. And that's it, a really super easy, simple, and healthy drink that you can have for Halloween breakfast. Lastly, obsessing over these zombie molds that I also got. All the links are gonna be down in the description box below. And I love these because we can make some really healthy, real fruit popsicles with them that my daughter absolutely loves um, so I got some kiwis she's really into kiwis right now you can make some froyo some frozen yogurt popsicles and then you can add some you know mushed up strawberries to make it look like blood and there's so many fun ways to make these popsicles just look so eerie yet very healthy and that's really all there is to it. I just popped it in the freezer for at least two hours and they freeze really, really well. They're a little bit tough and tricky to take off, but don't worry, the head's not gonna fall off. I literally tried to like pull it super hard. Loving all these treats. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of sweets around this time of the year, so I just thought, why not have a little bit more of somewhat of a healthier option? So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and also comment down below and give this video a big like so I know that you loved it. See you in the next one.